Hey everybody, it's about 2.45 almost, and you know, you, you may have seen some of my videos that, um, well in some of my videos I've basically done some footage with you looking at the ceiling or it's in a park during the day or something like that, that our church, you've seen me kind of showcase some of our church services. Well, you may not see that for a while, I'm not really sure, because apparently, and I don't want to give much away, but apparently this past week has been a real up and down, kind of down week for our church. But as my mom has said, a blessing from God is coming. Out of all this downness, a true upness is coming from God. And I believe it is. But here's the thing. Our pastor, this past week, a couple of days after he preached on Sunday, news got out that he was terminated by the elders. Now, no one really knows the real specifics as to why he was terminated. Not even close confidants and friends of ours can really have those answers. But if someone would have told me, my family, our friends at church, that our pastor, and even would have told our pastor that his last, that his sermon on Sunday would be his last at our church, no one would have believed us. And, you know, a lot of people were talking, wondering why it happened. Some felt that the new associate pastor that we had was after his job. But as more details and more things came to light, we found out that that wasn't the case. Because apparently, our associate pastor, as of just less than a few hours ago, this past, well, yesterday being Friday now, yesterday being Friday and now being Saturday, our associate pastor also got the axe. And no one can understand why. You see, when, when, when my, when I got, when we got, me and my family got word about what happened to our pastor, Again, we didn't know what the real reason was. We didn't know if they wanted our new associate pastor to be the new pastor. No one knew. But then, like I said, as new details started to come in, I started getting this thought in my mind that maybe our associate pastor really didn't want nothing to do with this. Because some, new, because some things that were coming in, some of the details that that were coming in, I was hearing the fact that, you know, he wanted Kent, he wanted our pastor, our I guess our pastor, to be part of these meetings that were occurring, but he wasn't. He want, well, basically our associate pastor didn't wanted the pastor wanted the pastor to be associated with these ongoing meetings. And apparently, from what people have been saying, have been going on since the beginning of this year, have been wanting, he basically wanted the pastor to be part of this, but he wasn't. And basically, more, and ba but basically the thing was, our associate pastor got drug into this. They pulled him aside and drug him in. And that told me, that told me, That told me that he did not want anything to do with this. And if he did, this associate pastor, let me tell you about this associate pastor. People may think what they want to think about him, but he's a cool guy. Everybody likes him. But something occurred. Something occurred to where earlier this week our pastor got the axe, and now our associate pastor. But why? You know, some people would say, our associate, pa our pastor, was not the pastor he should be, was not the preacher he should be. 
could have been the same for our associate one. I mean, everybody liked them, but but why? What was going on? What was the reason? That is the question everybody's going to try to have answered this Sunday. You know, th there could be a lot of reasons as to why. I looked at one of the reasons as to being maybe, you know, I'm not trying to knock this as a bad thing, but in my opinion, I'm thinking maybe one of the things was the fact that we're starting to put pagers, pagers, we're start, that the church was giving pagers to parents, so when the parents dropped their kids off at the nursery, or they dropped them off in Sunday school, they would have a page of letting them know, hey, you got to come get your kid if something was wrong. But, but what really, sorry about that, that's my watch going off. But what really gets me, folks, what really gets me is that this is all occurring behind our pastor's back, and nobody knew. But, there was something that gave it away to some of my family members and some of my friends. What gave it away is the atmosphere, the atmosphere that I was introduced to four years ago, three and a half years ago, three and a half years ago, the atmosphere I was introduced to three and a half to almost four years ago now, that atmosphere suddenly started to die off. It wasn't there anymore. I mean, my mom, my mom and a few other family members of mine, when they would attend church there, she would, you know, she would do this just like most of the members of the church. They would do this anytime they would sing songs, and she wouldn't be just be singing the song, but she'd be closing her eyes, going, doing her own little praise to God, just like everybody else in that church. But she told me lately that her and the other family members and friends they couldn't do that. It felt like they couldn't do that no more. And no one could understand why. No one could really decipher why they couldn't do that anymore. And now, finally, we're going to get some answers. We hope. What could it have been? I mean, was it the fact that our pastor and maybe our associate pastor were not the pastors and associate pastors they should have been? I mean, what is it that the people at this church wanted? Did they want our pastor to be all serious, put on a suit, and not and probably joke around just a tiny bit, but just be all serious in front of a podium and just read and read and, you know, be all preachy and all that? Is that what they wanted? Where could it have been? Is there something more? You see, you see the thing about our, our church, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you out there are the same way, our church takes place every Sunday, most of the time, inside a middle school gymnasium. A middle school gymnasium. During the summer, every, and that, and, you know, during the summer, every first of the month, during the summer, from June, July, August, and the beginning of September, we always have a worship in the park. <laughs> well, that apparently ain't going to happen now, unless we get some answers. You know, and I have my theories, I have my opinions. Some of my theories and opinions are the fact that maybe, like some people have mentioned, perhaps our pastor and associate pastor with the kind of pastors and preachers they wanted. Maybe it's the fact that our our pastor's family, his kids, are now out of the house and it's just him and his wife. We don't know. Or maybe it's the fact that they just want the, they want to move on. Maybe it's a cycle. Maybe it's like every four or five years they gotta get rid of the get you know, toss out the old, bring in the new. Or could it be something more? What I believe, in one of my honest opinions, is it could be something more. It's got to be something more. And what I fear, 
and I'm not saying I know this is going to happen. What, what, in my opinion, what I feel could be said on Sunday, when people are asking questions, what I feel could be answered. One of the, what I feel one of those answers could be is an answer nobody wants to hear. See, like I said, we, like many churches around this nation and around this world, we are not in an actual church. We're in a high school gym. Because we, as my mom has told me, as our pastor has told us, as anybody that's very, I've talked to has told, told me, we are the church. And to me, what I don't get is what is the true answer. And I, like I said, I feel the real answer, one of those real answers, I'm, in my opinion, but I feel, in my opinion, one of those real answers could be that perhaps the agreement, the lease, you know, the rental lease, if you will, on that gymnasium, that our church has on that gymnasium for Sundays, maybe the lease that we our church has on that gymnasium on Sundays is coming to an end. Maybe, maybe it's money, maybe it's a money problem. Maybe they can't afford the pastor anymore. Maybe they can't afford to pay our pastor. Maybe they can't afford to pay our associate pastor. Maybe it's the fact that they can't afford to rent the gym out every Sunday. And if that's the case, what next? If that's the answer, we don't know. We don't know. But I will say this. There's going to be two places our destination is going to head to us. Our pastor's house or the, or the school. I'll tell you this. Whether I go out with my sisters and my brother-in-laws to celebrate my brother-in-law's 35th birthday tonight, on Saturday night in Modesto, either I go with them or not, I will get up, I will set my alarm, I will get up, ladies and gentlemen, and I will go. Because if my mom is going to head to the school, I'll go to the pastor's house. If she's heading to the pastor's house, I'll go to the school. Because we got to get answers either way. And I've got a feeling in both places we're going to get answers. We might get answers in both areas. But here's the thing. What is the real reason? That's the question I have. That's the question everybody in our church is going to have, and our congregation is going to have. Because I'll tell you this, everybody liked our pastor. Our pastor opened his house to everybody. My pastor opened his house to my mom and offered her to have dinner when she was new to the church. To get to know the fa his family and what the church was about. So we're going to get some answers, and we're going to get them this Sunday, either at school, at our pastor's house, or both. But I leave you with this question, a question you will see up there in the headlines. For those of you with jobs in management, for those of you that have attended churches, has this ever happened to you? Has this ever happened to you or somebody you know? That is a question I'm asking. Has it happened to you or somebody you know? Has this happened? Comment down below if you like. Give me your opinions. Tell me what you think. I'll talk to you later.